Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Armin and in this video, I will show you how to couple CFD with heat transfer. In part 1, I showed how to calculate forced heat convection without coupling CFD. Now, I want to use laminar flow instead of external forced convection. Then, I need the laminar flow and heat transfer in solids and fluids physics. The study is stationary because the solution is time independent. I'm going to change the unit length to the centimeter. Also, I want to see temperature with respect to velocity, so I'm going to define a parameter for the velocity. The solid domain is aluminum and the fluid is water. I will create a rectangle for the fluid and a semicircle for the solid domain. Dimensions are optional. I have to define the material for each component. Semicircle is solid so I'm going to remove it from laminar flow. Now, I have to define inlet at the upstream and outlet at the downstream. Also, the top of the fluid is open. In heat transfer physics, I'm going to define an optional heat flux at the bottom of the semicircle. In multiphysics, I have to enable coupling between physics. I will change element size to extra fine. In the parametric sweep, I'm going to enter four optional velocities according to the part one video. Coupling is not applicable because I didn't define solid and fluid and heat transfer physics. Now we can see that domain 1 is coupled. Finally, I'm gonna hit on compute. In temperature result, I'm gonna change color type to rainbow. In parameter value, I can change velocity and see the temperature.
The temperatures are almost the same as the Part 1 model. Thank you for watching.